Thank you. So, thank you very much. Uh, I'm Nick Schnicki. We're with uh, TrueRest FlowSpot. And I just wanted to bring my whole team up here because even though we are selling isolation, definitely nothing is done in isolation. And everything we've done is a collaboration, 100%. And so four years ago when we started this, uh, I kind of looked at my wife. We saw the Joe Rogan video. I tried it one time and said, do you want to invest our life savings and max out a couple credit cards and start a <laughs> float center? And you know, she said, yes, I want to support you. So you know, it's, uh, that's, just, that's truly amazing. That really is. And without that support behind you, you really have a lot harder time doing things. And so you know, I just wanted to bring her up here and thank her and just you know, every step of the way, she used to be a Montessori teacher and she quit that so she could learn how to like professionally, you know, tile a, a float store. So, um, you know, it really is tremendous. And so, you know, Amir has been with us since the very beginning. He started when he was in college. Uh, he does all of our, uh, some of our marketing stuff, the video you're about to see. Uh, he was a huge, huge, uh, you know, inspiration for everything there. And then Alden, if you, if you have a trouble pitching, what is uh, the 30-second pitch? What is a float spa? Alden, when we worked behind the desk, it was mind-boggling. So people would come in and I'd say, how did you hear about floating? Oh, from Alden. How do you know Alden? Oh, I met him at a gas station five minutes ago. <laughs> and so, truly spectacular. Um, so, yeah, it's just amazing. But, so I just wanted to uh, give a little background about myself too. Um, you know, when I was even a, yeah, sure. Just don't, don't eat the salt, guys. But uh, when, you know, <laughs> You know, when I was a little kid, my biggest passion was always in uh, ascension and exploring consciousness. So I researched everything I possibly could on the subject. Uh, for the last 13 years, I've been a uh, Falun Dafa or Falun Gong practitioner, which is a meditation, and it's unfortunately being persecuted in China. So on a very serious note, research what's going on. They're using organ harvesting from people that are involuntarily uh, not giving permission at all. So go to stoporganharvesting.org. It's really just incredible what's happening. But um, you know, for me, why did I get involved in floating? So for me, it's a piece of the overall puzzle, and it's a part of what is to come. And so that has something to do with the piece it can eventually offer a person. And so in True Rest, we tout the phrase, float your way to euphoria. And we offer that to every single person that steps in our door. So it doesn't matter if you're coming in for pain relief, uh, stress, uh, the infamous Joe Rogan podcast. It really doesn't matter what brought you in. We offer everyone that opportunity to float their way to euphoria. And so, um, you know, this very enthusiastic gentleman who is not here, but he's looking at starting some centers in uh, Chicago, he said, hey, Nick, I have a kind of a bizarre question for you. And I said, okay, shoot. He said, what, did you, what do you think of Justin Bieber floating? And I said, I think that'd be great. That'd be absolutely marvelous, in fact. But, you know, there's a genuine question there that I think we all need to ask ourselves, which is, how does that make you feel? If I pose that question to everyone in the audience, do you think that sounds silly? Do you think, uh, you know, is there judgment? And I think that could be the biggest impediment to the growth of the industry as a whole. And so, you know, do we really want more people floating? Are we taking concrete and actionable steps towards that goal? So for me, that starts 100% with education. And it's educating people past the therapeutic values of floating and to that peace that they're truly seeking. But that, of course, takes a process. And, um, you know, I personally believe that we should be accepting of all people that come, no matter what their starting point may be. And so uh, regardless if you're a soccer mom, if you're a celebrity, if you're in the limelight, we should really just uh, offer that, that float to Euphoria for everyone. And what we call it True Us, it's like that magic float. And I got my magic float after one float. Uh, some people it takes three, some people it takes six, but once you have that and, you're, and your heart's opened up, you feel it and it's a passion and you want to drive it. So I could probably talk about this for an hour, but uh, we do need to play a video, so. Floating is a way for you to simultaneously relax not only the body, but the mind as well. You're removing yourselves from the bombardment of your senses while simultaneously relaxing your body on the surface of the water. And due to the density of the salt water, there's no gravity. You're actually escaping the forces of gravity here on Earth, which creates spectacular pain relief. Uh, it's unlike anything else in terms of relaxation and de-stressing and just kind of unwinding at the end of your day. Floating can help everyone in so many ways. It can help with pain relief, it can help you sleep better, it can just give you this place to be at peace. 
And so at Fluid Pod Therapies, we're moving away from what used to be coined sensory deprivation, and we're going into sensory acceleration. And so what I mean by that is we're creating a tool that essentially is allowing the human being to realize their fuller potential. And so whether that is healing the body through the body's own innate ability to heal, whether it's deep relaxation for use in meditation or just stress relief, or whether it's just a better night's sleep, this is a tool that humanity as a whole just needs. It's such a multifaceted tool. There's so many different people that enjoy floating. There's so many different ways in which you can use a float tank. And I think, depending on the kind of person you are, there's a lot for you here. And so floating itself is a very personal experience and we wanted to make it even more personal. And so the float pod comes standard with an MP3 player and an iPod dock. And it's right on the side of the pod and so the user has easy access to it. And whether I have a cell phone or an MP3 player, iPod, doesn't matter, it plugs right in. And now I can finally listen to all the tracks I've been wanting to listen to in the past few years of floating. You know, jokingly, I say that, you know, the guts of the float pod belong inside of its body. And so uh, it, everything is self-contained. And so all you do is you have, a, we have a little access panel in the back um, that is actually made out of fiberglass, so it's seamless if you're looking around. You take that access panel off and you have your UV, you have your motor, all of your electrical components, things like that. Just everything's self-contained. And that's genius. The Easy Change filter is really from a spa owner perspective. Uh, we've been waiting for that for years. Uh, it's actually inside of the float area, and now I can do a change in 30 seconds. Um, that, that for me is a game changer. The float pod has a multicolored LED system that's directly controlled from inside of the pod. And so by simply toggling the button itself, you can switch through different single colors you can pause on whatever color you'd like just for some color therapy, as well as you can engage a really soothing color cycle. Alternatively, if you're just looking for pure silence and darkness, it's very easy to just turn off the light and be left there with yourself. So with a float pod, the built-in heater keeps the temperature constant. No matter if you're floating for one hour or two or five, it keeps the temperature um, completely consistent throughout so that there's no fluctuation at all. Which is very nice. Now that we have everything integrated into the body of the float pod and we're controlling the air temperature naturally uh, in the cabin, we've noticed that the air is a lot drier. There's not that dense feeling when you're trying to breathe. Now what's really neat about this is it has very little condensation. And as float pods tanks go, everyone knows that condensation is a huge problem. The design of the pod makes it so condensation falls, and then now that we're heating the air around it, it's, uh, we almost have no condensation. Truly remarkable. The float pod also features an intercom system, and what that allows is just an ease of conversation between the people working in the spa and the floaters in the back. And so whether someone forgot a towel or needs you for any reason at all, it's just one push of a button and you're right there. One of the best features about the float pod is that it offers constant filtration when someone's not floating. It also includes ozone and UV. The ozone is basically an oxidizer. And now what's going to happen is that's going to bubble. And you'll see all these wonderful little bubbles coming up. It starts to smell amazing, very fresh. And it dissipates within just 20 seconds. So when that shuts off and you're showering, when you get in, there's no ambient ozone in the air. So it's just in the water. It does a great job of oxidizing it. The UV is interesting. So the UV will basically use um, photons, like UV light, and bombard cells with uh, photons, and that's how it destroys things. And so even the beneficial things that could grow, such as algae in a saltwater fish tank, for example, is made inert by the UV. We have basically uh, four, four inputs and two drains. Now what's really interesting is the four intakes, two have ozone that are infused into it, so instead of having one jet that just pushes out of a single tube and doesn't really create that much of a flow, the four outputs really create this perfect flow of water. 
And so because of the combination of the UVs, the ozone, the flow, the filter system as one comprehensive system, there's no scum line. It's remarkable. And so if you ever dreamed of opening your own float center, I think this is your chance. And what you have here is a product that provides relaxation unlike anything else on this planet. Uh, you're starting to see float pods pop up in yoga studios as the perfect shavasana after a practice. You're seeing float pods in locker rooms of gyms because they're really able to reduce recovery time after a heavy workout. Uh, I think float pods are miraculous in the pain center or any kind of physical rehabilitation environment just because of the amount of pain relief and relaxation that a one hour in a float tank provides. Ideally, I see floating going into uh, not only commercial spas, but also into residential homes, into hospitals. This is something that can be used across a variety of different markets. This is something that can be used in your home every single day. Uh, this can be used in a spa setting. It can be used in a wellness center in conjunction with other therapies. This is literally the tool of the future for wellness. We have uh, residential float tanks for, the residential float tanks are gonna start around 5,700. The residential float pods are around 14,500 and then these commercial units are 19,500. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions, just let us know. Thank you very much.